My name is Sidney Jesse. I am a county commissioner representing the second district, Luttrell, Tennessee, and I am here today to read a book called The Country Angel Christmas by Tommy Day Paola. Look, shouted Ari, it's Saint Nicholas. Pip exclaimed. But it's not Christmas Eve, Kyra said. Why are you here so early? Hiram, the head angel, asked. I have exciting news. You have been chosen to make the Christmas celebration for all of heaven this year. The country angel didn't say a word. They didn't smile. Not even Ari, Pip, and Kyra, the youngest angels, who were always chattering and asking questions. What's the matter? St. Nicholas asked. Oh, St. Nicholas, Aram said, we aren't important enough for such a big occasion. Last year, the archangel made heaven sparkle with gold and silver. And the year before, the heavenly choir made Christmas with harps and trumpets and hundreds of voices singing in magnificent chorus. What could we do that would be so good enough? Asked Petra, the music angel. Ah, St. Nicholas said, don't think about what others have done. Just be yourselves and you will make a fine Christmas, you will see. The next day, the country angels met in the barn. What, St. Nicholas said, is true. Hiram said, we must all do what we do best. We can offer wonderful things to eat from our kitchens, said Adassa, the kitchen angel. Let's have a procession with our animals, said Nebo and Ziff, the barn angels. Everyone began having ideas at once for wreaths of holly, banners of silk in all the heavenly colors, and songs for everyone to sing. But not in parts, said Petra, the music angel. It will be glorious, they all called out. What can... We do, shouted Ara, Pip, and Kyra. The best thing you can do is stay out of the way, the angels told them. The next day, Ira, Pip, and Kyra went to the kitchen where angels were peeling and sifting, pouring and stirring. Can we help? Shh, said Adassa. You'll just make a mess. They went to the angels who were cutting pine branches, measuring ribbons, and collecting holly for the wreaths. What can we do? They asked. You're too young to do anything, Aram said. May we wind the thread on the spools? They asked. Meta. You'll only tangle it all up, Meta told them. And when they tried to make music with the music angels, they were too fast or too slow. Finally, Ara, Pip, and Kyra went to the barn where they often played with the animals. But even Nebo and Ziff had no time for them when they asked if they could help groom the animals. We have enough help, Ziff said. On the day that St. Nicholas came to see how the country angels were getting on, he found Ara, Pip, and Kyra sitting outside the barn doing nothing. What's the matter? St. Nicholas asked. Aren't you helping to get ready for Christmas? Oh, St. Nicholas, they told him. No one wants us to help with anything. They think we're too young. Hmm, 
said St. Nicholas. I think I have an idea. He gathered them close and whispered so that no one could hear. On the morning of Christmas Eve, before flying off to earth, St. Nicholas came with his sleigh. The country angels filled it with fresh straw and pine boughs to keep him warm on his journey. They put bright red quilts over each reindeer and wound holly around their harnesses. I will be back this evening after I have visited all the children and we'll have our Christmas together. Ira, Pip, and Kira smiled. They couldn't wait for their surprise. All that day, the country angels worked. No one noticed that Ira, Pip, and Kyra were nowhere to be seen. It was dark when St. Nicholas returned. The archangels and the heavenly choir and all of heaven had gathered. Everyone wanted to see what the country angels had planned. Everything was in place. The procession was ready to begin. The country angels were worried. It was getting darker and darker and no one could see anything. What shall we do? They whispered. They had forgotten that Christmas Eve is one of the darkest nights of the year. They had heard a murmuring among the archangels. Look, said the heavenly choir, a glow had appeared across the sky. When the country angels turned around, they saw Ira, Pip, and Kyra pulling a large star across the heavens. The star of Bethlehem, they cried. The hillside shone with light. Oh, thank you, Ira, Pip, and Kyra, all the angels said. You must lead the procession. And the three smallest angels started up the hill with the bright star above them, lighting up all of heaven. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. The end.